Berber Scree says, if you appreciate my help, then please hit subscribe. Subscribe right here. Subscribe. Oh, yep, yeah, right there. Subscribe. And if you like, maybe it would be helpful if you also like. Please like. Thank you very much, says the Berber Scree bird. Hi, it's Mark Kilgore, the bed bug engineer, and also Sosa, my bed bug engineering technician. And just so you can see that he hasn't been missing out on his Scooby Snacks, he, just so you know the deal, if he's uh, good and quiet, behaves during the show, then he gets a Scooby Snack at the end. And I have been showing him getting a Scooby Snack at the end. Alright, so... I just want you to know that I'm not cheating my dog, okay? All right, what I would like to cover uh, this time around is how to handle your clothes. This is super important, as is following every one of my methods, okay? How to handle your clothes. Now, um, as we've talked about before, you do your laundry uh, at least once a week, okay? Always, at least once a week, you do your laundry. Now, um, and, and that includes everything on your bed there. So, this uh, empty clothes basket, does that mean I just did my laundry? No, it doesn't. There's my laundry, okay? My laundry, I know my bathtub's funny. You go ahead and take a laugh, take a laugh. Um, all right, my bathtub's funny, right? Um, but the reason why I keep all the dirty clothes in the bathtub and still do it just on general principles, as long as it's just me here and it's not bothering anyone else, then the reason why is because this is a big climb up trap. Those, those bed bugs cannot climb up the sides of anything that is as slick as a bathtub. So, you use your bathtub as your dirty clothes basket. And that's not all. If you check out there, you've missed a lot, okay? Now, you... I, okay, I used to always like to do this. I would, um, you know, maybe I'd have a pair of house shorts or a t-shirt or something that I would maybe wear more than one time, you know. Uh, I might uh, take it off and and uh, put it back on in the same day or, or maybe I, I take it off and, and uh, might want to wear it the next day, I'm not sure, stuff like that. Uh, one of the bad habits that I would do is uh, take off the clothes and set them on the floor. Like, say it's a pair of shorts, okay? Let's, uh, let's grab something that is, can be an example, all right? Let, all right. All right, here's a pair of uh, boxer briefs, okay? So I, I like to do this. Okay, it's bedtime or whatever. Um, let's say. And uh, okay, I, I know I, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get attacked. People are gonna be like, "Oh, what are, what are you doing wearing your underwear over and over again?" Okay. All right. Well, let let let's not let's not uh, have have a big argument about that. You know, get a big bunch of people sidetracked. So, here's a pair of shorts, okay? Here's a pair of shorts. Alright, oh, I went to bed, I'm, I'm lazy. I'm just gonna uh, kick them over there, alright? Then, go to bed, stuff, you know. And then wake up in, in the morning, oh, there's my shorts, oh, man, I'm just gonna pick them up. Just because they're in the way there, I'm going to throw them up there on the bed. And, uh, and, and so, 
I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to eat breakfast, you know, and stuff like that. Or, or whatever, and, and uh, mess around, have a cup of coffee. Then uh, come back upstairs. Okay. Now these these shorts, I'm, I'm, I'm going to toss them over here on this chair now. Alright, now I'm going to do something else. Um, now, okay. Uh, I'm going to, i got to sit down on the chair. So I'm going to sit them up there and do something here. Uh, get to watch TV a little bit and stuff. Okay. Now, just think about this. Every, you have to believe. If you've got bed bugs, you have to believe that they're on the floor. They're in the corners of your room. You know, they're hiding uh, everywhere that they can possibly be. Okay? They, uh, um, your clothes, you take them off, you know, for the night or something. They might be like, oh, you know, I, I, I smell his, uh, the scent of a of human here. And go there and they might hang out on your clothes, you know. Then the next morning you pick them up, you toss them on your bed. And, and, then, and then guess what? Then this little guy is going climbing off of it. And go climbing down your bed. And go climb up here and get under the sheet or go get in this little fold right here and boom you got your bed infected then you come back on you put on your shorts and you think you're good to go you think you're good to go never put any piece of clothes or anything on your bed that has been on the floor anything uh, other than other than yourself okay and, and uh, you know, you might consider these socks infected. Well, then you take them off and, and you pitch them straight into the dirty clothes, okay? But uh, nothing that has been on the floor gets back onto your bed, ever. Nothing. You have to consider the floor infested or infected. I, whatever word you prefer to use, I like the word infected. To me, infected mean means that it's possibly infected, meaning that it possibly may contain at least one bed bug. So you have to always figure that your floor may contain at least one living bed bug. And they're looking for any way, you just have to, you just have to figure. Just, just assume that they're really smart, you know, and you can't go wrong. So if you're a bed bug, you're like, oh my gosh, if there's any way I can get onto his bed, you know, this is bed bug safe island. If there's any way I can penetrate his defenses, penetrate the shell and get onto that bed and get hidden, especially a mated up female, then, oh man, booyah, you know, then it is, then the, the bed bug party is on, okay? Another thing about it, okay? Uh, so what I, what I would prefer to do is if I want to wear these shorts again and take them straight off, they, they're, they've ne and I've never let them hit the floor, if I let these things hit the floor and I don't just pick them up immediately and shake them like that, then uh, what I would do is take them and drape them over the top of the door. So now, if a, if a bed bug wants to get to it, they have to be able to climb the door. Well, I would assume the door is pretty slick as well. And I, I, don't, I don't believe they can climb up a wall. Even, even though it, it's, it's, it's not totally smooth, it'll be difficult for them to. And what would be the big payoff? There's nothing up there that's emitting CO2. That would, that would be a distance of at least five feet straight up they would have to go to get to this thing that's not even emitting any CO2. Just may have the human scent stuff. You know, I don't know what all they can uh, smell and, and sense up. Uh, apparently, uh, it, you know, is definitely your CO2 and can be uh, like your sweat like any any kind of a thing that you sweat, your you know your body sweats up and onto your clothes. Uh, 
that might be uh, for another show. But anyhow, in this one, have we covered Sosa? Sosa, do you want a Scooby snack? Okay, I'll bring it to you. Have we covered everything, Sosa, that we're meaning to cover here? What are we meaning to cover, Sosa? We're meaning to cover how to handle laundry. So there's your laundry basket. There's your real laundry basket, but there's that, that bathtub, that's your laundry basket that you use. The only time you use the laundry basket is when it's actually time to collect it. Then, then you bring the laundry basket over there uh, and, and you stick those clothes right into it. I would recommend you set the laundry basket, like I, I've got a little ledge there uh, or a little space right there. I would recommend that you set the laundry basket right in there, set the clothes right in there. Um, I'd probably grab the stuff off the bed first into the laundry basket in there you go boom that stuff's in the laundry basket boom you grab your detergent and you're trucking right downstairs to uh, do the laundry I think that covers it and and uh, Sosa thinks that if you think he's done good daddy's done good then you should subscribe and also here's a good video right there Poop. and also this one's okay and this one's okay too. Right, Sosa? Well, I love you and Jesus loves you infinitely more. Bye-bye.